What's up guys, this is Fazil and in this video I'm going to be talking about what I did to get a 750 on the GMAT in just one month of prep. Whether you're looking to improve your score or just want to know what it takes to achieve a top score, this video is for you. Also make sure that you stay until the end of the video. I will share a free PDF of the day by day study plan which you can follow and I can guarantee that this will improve your GMAT score by a lot. I follow this myself and got a 140 point increase in just one month of prep. Disclaimer number one, I am not a genius. I have never been. So if I can get the score, it means that you can get the score as well. Uh, I know it's very generic advice, but you have to stay optimistic and you have to stay positive. And only then will you be able to get the score that you want. Disclaimer number two, you will have to work hard. Guys, we're just studying for one month. So there's no time to slack off. You can chill later and uh, that's it, right? But one month, you will have to work hard. Also guys, don't make this mistake. I've seen people study for six months, one year, just spending a couple of hours every day. Guys, that's ridiculous. Remember, the GMAT is extremely important, but it's only one part of your application. So don't waste one year, six months of your life juggling work, study, your social life, and everything else just for the GMAT. If there's one thing you take from this video, take this. Quality is greater than quantity. The quality of your preparation is much more important than how many hours you spend trying to prepare and the quantity of your preparation. So when I was starting my GMAT prep, I knew that there was no way I'd spend one year, six months uh, trying to study, trying to balance my work life, my social life along with my GMAT study. That isn't a life which I wanted. And uh, if I do that, that means I'd have to work the entire day and then come back home and study for the rest of the day. And that's all my day would be. And this would mean I have no time for anything else and just work, study, work, study, work, study every single day. I don't know about you, but this is not a life which I wanted. So what I did was I spoke to my company and asked them for a month off of work where I could spend the entire month just studying and just focusing on the GMAT. So instead of spending six months to a year studying part time for the GMAT, I just spent one month studying for the GMAT full time. This worked wonders for me. And if you can do the same thing, I would highly suggest that you do. One month of full time GMAT prep is better than six months to a year of part time prep where you just study for a couple of hours every day. If you have the opportunity to do so, then I would highly suggest that you take some time off for work and prepare for the GMAT. Uh, but I understand that some people might not have that opportunity. So for people like you, I would highly suggest that uh, instead of focusing on the number of hours you spend on the GMAT, try to make sure those are really quality hours and um, you're really focused on the GMAT when you're actually prepping for it. So when I was creating my study plan, I realized that I have to be extremely efficient and have a study plan that would be super optimal for me. And I came up with something which I believe was perfect for my needs and what I wanted to do with my time. I've attached this study plan, which I used to get a 750 in the description below. It's a step-by-step -step and a day-by-day -day tutorial where I've mentioned exactly what you need to do every single day. It's important to wake up every day and not have to think about what you need to study for that day. Uh, so all your mental energy needs to go in the prep itself. This study plan removes all the thinking out of it and uh, it's totally free, right? So do check it out. This plan is just for a month and assumes you have seven to eight hours of free time every day. But in case you don't and you can just give three to four hours or two to three hours every day, that's fine as well. Just spread this out over a longer period of time and that should work for you as well. So on the first day, I took a practice GMAT and got a 610. Um, I took the official uh, GMAT exam on the MBA.com, the, the official practice GMAT on the MBA.com website and got a 610. Now I knew that this was way off my goal because uh, in order for me to be competitive in the schools that I was applying to, I needed at least a 720, 730 because the schools, the schools that I was applying to uh, were extremely competitive and I needed to get a 720, 730 to, you know, um, better my chances to get into that school. So step into my shoes here. I have 29, actually 28 days to get the score that I want, a 140 point increase from what I actually got. So what do I do? I, there's no way I'm going to risk it and try studying all by myself with random resources online. And that's why I purchased a dedicated resource where I could practice problems, I could study, I could read material all in one place. So I did some research and found out that Target Test Prep is a really good resource. So I purchased that, right? I purchased the one month plan. This was a game changer for me. It is possible to study without a resource, but this makes the entire process so much more efficient. There is no way I could read so much practice material and practice so many problems if I didn't purchase that one month subscription of Target Test Prep. And 
if I didn't have all of these resources in just one place. Other courses are good too. I've heard of Magoosh and Veritas Prep, but Target Test Prep is what worked for me. Um, if you want to get Target Test Prep for yourself, I've attached a link in the description below where you'll get an extra 10% off um, when you purchase the subscription. So I started off with Quant. How I studied for Quant is, so initially I'd read through every single topic. And as soon as I finished reading about that particular topic, I immediately solved the practice questions for that topic. I would start off with the easy questions and then do the medium ones and then progress to the hard ones. There's no fixed number as to how many questions I'd solve, but I'd solve them until I was confident that I could get all of them right. Again, quality over quantity. Do fewer questions, but make sure you understand them thoroughly and understand the reasoning behind all the answers. And make sure the concept is ingrained in your head. So I did this for 10 days. I spent 10 days on quant and finished reading up and practicing problems of each topic. Uh, again, I would recommend this for you as well. Spend 10 days on quant. If you're doing the one month plan, spend 10 days on quant. So if you get target test prep, this is extremely convenient. Um, they have tests for each topic and all difficulty levels. So you can read up about a topic and watch the videos and basically go through all the study material for that particular topic. And as soon as you're done with that, you can go and practice questions. You can start off with the easy questions and progress to the medium and then do the hard questions in the end. If you don't get target test prep, I would recommend that you watch GMAT Ninja's videos on YouTube. And uh, I'd recommend that you watch all of his videos and then practice the problems for each topic on GMAT Club. So after 10 days, which I spent on Quant, I shifted my attention to verbal. Guys, verbal is not easy. I would call myself somewhat of a native speaker. Uh, though English is not my first language, I still speak a lot of English throughout my day and it was hard for me as well. One thing which changed the way I look at verbal is GMAT doesn't want to test your English skills. Um, what GMAT actually wants to do is it wants to test your logic. So there's a way of learning verbal where you don't have to spend a lot of time going through the grammar rules, the punctuation rules, the conjugations and uh, verbs and stuff like that. But you can actually focus on the logic behind the questions and try to solve the questions that way. Uh, I can't go into much detail because that will take another entire video. But uh, this is something which I learned on Target Test Prep and also on GMAT Ninja's videos. So there is a way of learning verbal where you just focus on the logic behind the questions rather than the grammar rules and the, uh, and the different foundational English knowledge which a lot of us don't have, right? So there's a way of learning through logic which uh, makes it so much easier for non-native speakers and also for native speakers who don't have that foundation where you learned all of this in school. So the more you try to solve your problems with logic, the better it is for you. I learned this entire process through watching GMAT Ninja's videos. And again, I'd highly recommend you watch his videos on YouTube as well. So watching his videos, plus um, after watching his videos, I'd go and practice the problems again on Target Test Prep. So that was the perfect blend for me. Coming to IR and AWA, I didn't spend a lot of time practicing this. Um, again, IR is based a lot on logic and you don't have to spend days trying to practice this. If you spend the 10 days which I recommended to you for quant, um, IR problems will be quite easy for you as well. Uh, just go through a couple of practice problems and understand the format of the questions and you'll be good. Um, for AWA, I'm attaching a link in the description below where a person has uh, on GMAT Club has spoken about a format and basically told you exactly what you need to write to get good marks on the essay. Um, you know, he's also mentioned about what specific words to use, uh, how to structure your essay, how to proofread the essay in the end, all of that. And if you follow his advice, um, you'll be golden. I don't want to add anything to what he's already mentioned. So I'm just attaching the link in the description below. Uh, you can go through what he's mentioned and you'll be golden for the AWA. I followed his advice and got a 6 out of 6, so I'd recommend the same uh, to you as well. Again guys, don't spend too much time prepping for the IR and the AWA. Uh, these will not count towards your final score. So it's okay if you don't spend days. Just spend 1-2 to two days on, uh, the both of the, on, on both these sections and you will be good. 2 days to learn about both of these is more than enough. So 10 plus 10 plus 2. 22 days are over and I have 7 days left for my GMAT. What do I do? So the next 5 days, I did 5 practice exams and they were all official practice exams. So I bought the extra 5 ones on uh, MBA.com. 
guys it's an investment and i would highly suggest that you buy those extra 5 exams and practice all of them uh, attempt one exam every single day for the next 5 days and see what mistakes you've made uh get your time management and test taking strategies on point uh this shouldn't be something which you struggle with on test day so practicing enough times before the actual exam and trying to get up to speed with how the different sections work how much time to spend on each section how much time to spend on each question uh these will be extremely important for you so make sure you spend you know a few days just uh, taking uh, practice gmats and trying to understand where you are going wrong again i cannot stress this enough don't be overconfident um these practice exams are super 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 important and ideally you'd get what your target score is in the last 2 3 practice exams so if you want to get a 730 740 you should get around that in the last two practice exams you give if you don't then you can you know find out where you're lacking and try to improve in that regard but in all cases doing these practice exams is extremely extremely important okay so it's the day before the test guys do nothing do nothing before the test one day before the test is when you relax and don't study at all there is nothing you can do right now which could actually better your score i would actually argue that if you study now it could actually lead to a negative impact on your score and your score could actually reduce so guys do nothing just relax the day before the exam so it's test day guys this is the time where you relax and don't take any pressure try not to feel any of the pressure because it's not a big deal right if you don't get the score you want you can always reattempt the gmat so it's not a life and death so it's okay just relax and make sure your time management is on point but your time management will only be on point if you are relaxed and you don't take a lot of pressure so just relax and uh, make sure you breathe and uh, one question at a time always one question at a time if you follow all of these tips i can guarantee that you will get your dream score guys throughout this process your mindset is extremely important um if you're studying full time make sure you're positive throughout the process don't study all day don't study for 10 12 hours every day guys it's not worth it study for 7 to 8 hours and make sure in the rest of the time make sure you do other activities which will keep you positive and which will make sure that you that your mind is at your 100% and can ingrain whatever knowledge um you are studying for me it was gym football and meditation Uh, for you it might be something else but again don't spend 10 to 12 hours studying uh, make sure you um, include these activities in your day as well and only then will your mind be in the right mental state to absorb any of the knowledge which you are giving it and that's it if you want a day by day breakdown of whatever i said with uh, you know exactly what you need to do on day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 of the plan along with a breakdown of how much time you need to spend on each topic on each aspect of the gmat along with the list of free resources which you can use click the link in the description below it's completely free and i promise that if you follow it properly you will definitely see an improvement in your gmat score again there's no point studying without a fixed plan it's like the gym only if you follow a plan will you see the results if you want to see more gmat related videos where i give you tips and tricks on how to improve your score so that you can get into your dream university subscribe to my channel It'll be a win-win for the both of us.